Here, I don't really have a speech. I've got some bullets here. There's no such thing as a right that is stronger than your right to self-preservation and self-defense. If men through fear, fraud, or mistake should in terms renounce and give up any essential natural right, the right to freedom being the gift of God Almighty, it is not in the power of man to alienate this gift and voluntarily become a slave. Is under attack. It always has been, but at this point, it's more so than in all of our lifetimes. Yet, if you watch what's going on, there's a political sleight of hand. Because not one national leader is addressing violence, criminal violence, the little punks down the street who do crimes, the mass murderers. No, what they're addressing is law-abiding citizens who just want to protect ourselves. Hi, uh, the Second Amendment is our right to bear arms which is one of the freedoms that we're allowed in our country. And um, I feel that the President of the United States has overstepped his bounds in his executive order. I feel that his, the, the way he's heading um, is, is he's taking more power than he should be allowed. And I think that he's not upholding our Constitution, and that's what he's supposed to be there for, to, to monitor and to uphold our Constitution. And I don't feel that he's doing that. The Second Amendment was put in there by our forefathers to stop what is happening right now, the slow takeover of disarming America. It happened in Cuba, it happened in Germany. In fact, when you look at Obama, he's in violation of all our civil rights as far as I'm concerned. Don't let it happen. Don't let what happened in Germany and Cuba everywhere else in this rotten world. Stand up for your rights and don't stop for one second. President Obama is trying to supervent the Constitution, and that is very sad. He took an oath and swore allegiance to the Constitution to protect it, to defend it against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And yet he's signing executive orders trying to use super authority over the Constitution, which he is supposed to protect. The Constitution says in the Second Amendment that the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. The Founding Fathers were smart enough to know that, they, that the federal government or governments tend to go corrupt. They knew that. They experienced that. They didn't want that again. So they put that in the Constitution that that's the limitation of power of the federal government. The government has no power to go beyond that Constitution. It's the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms and about the 23 um, executive orders. I'm totally against all of them. This is my country and we intend to take it back. The Second Amendment says as American citizen, uh, I have the right to carry arms. It also says that being as a part of a well-regulated militia, that my rights are not being infringed. That I have the right to keep and carry a weapon. As long as I uh, comply with the laws, I can keep that weapon. The <laughs> Second Amendment is a free state being necessary. The right to bear arms shall not be infringed. The Second Amendment is really the foundation for all our other freedoms. If you're not secure in your own personal safety, you won't be willing to speak out when something goes wrong. You won't be willing to help other people for fear that some tyrant, some government, is going to come in and hurt you. The Second Amendment prevents those tyrants from grabbing all the power. The, what we would like to see is a government that actually supports our freedoms rather than trying to take them away. The Obama administration, with their gun grab that they've just proposed, is going to gut the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights and our Constitution in one fell swoop. And there are enough people here to prevent that. Thank you. The Second Amendment um, has nothing to do with hunting. What it has to do with is our right, as it says in the Constitution, to protect ourselves from a tyrannical government. And that's what I feel, you know, um, is always relevant 
it, it was our beginning and it's going to be our Very end. That's the, the way it amendment. stands. The Second Amendment is valid. To me, the Second Amendment is it's the right to bear arms. You can't follow only a portion of it and not. If, if, it's like the Bible. You're, 100, you're behind it 100% or you're not. Uh, as far as the 23 executive orders, you know, our Congress is in place for a reason. Executive orders were meant for in a, in a, in a dire time. Um, you know, un unfortunately, uh, we have a lot of other things that need addressing too, and, and this needed to be addressed, but uh, it should have gone through legislation to address that, not just with the swipe of a pen through executive order. The Second Amendment is a constitutional guarantee of the right of the people to bear arms and to maintain a well-regulated militia. Okay, what do you know about the Second Amendment? Well, the Second Amendment to me was when the founders um, were afraid maybe that the government eventually might take away our gun rights, and so it's to protect us uh, from the government eventually. Okay. How about the... Uh, this past this week, uh, President Obama, you know, those 23 executive orders that are uh, leading towards trying to get your guns. What do you think about that? Well, I think he's taking advantage of the executive orders. I think when Congress doesn't agree with him or he can't get his way, he just passes another executive order. So I'm hoping that he can't just pass an executive order to take away our guns. That would be going against the Constitution, which I think he's been doing right along, but... I, I understand uh, you don't own a gun yourself. Your, uh, I guess your son is a police officer? Yes, he's and a detective, and I showed interest in owning a gun, so he was going to teach me the correct way to um, handle a gun and unload and load and clean. And we got through all of that. I got the sighting all down to a T, and then when it came to pulling the trigger, my finger wasn't strong enough to get through the safety. So I just need to go with a simpler gun, a less tricky gun. Not a gun made not a, not a, Yeah, not a... Okay, so uh, what, what actually made you uh, think about getting a gun? Basically protection. Um, uh, you know, society's getting more and more scary. The economy's going down. People get desperate. Um, home invasion. You know, just basically that. I'm not necessarily worried about the government coming in and, you know, uh, okay, so pulling it away uh, at this point. Uh, are you in with that group? As you've heard in the news, how many people have been flooding all throughout the country. The gun shows, the gun shops. Guns have been uh, leaving the shelves, leaving the stores bare. Mm -hmm. did, did, did that also prompt you to decide? That, yeah, that had a little bit to do with it. The ammunition is going down, and I hear that a lot of stores aren't being able to order it or they don't want to because they don't know what the, the president is going to do, and they don't want to be stuck with ammunition that they can't sell because it's illegal. Okay, so I guess in the end, every gun owner or new gun owner can thank President Obama for what he has uh, threatened to do. Uh, probably, pretty much. <laughs> okay, well thank you and uh, you have a wonderful day. And you too. Okay. Thank you.